what is up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today we are doing a pretty special and unique episode because the brand new top gear series 33 trailer has just been announced and today we are going to dive in and break up the trailer and we are going to talk about the new cars that are going to be in that thing the locations where they're going to be and a little bit about my thoughts and my opinions about what I think this top, new Top Gear series should be like and what I'm expecting for the upcoming episodes. So, the trailer dropped about two hours ago and I have just watched it before the making of this video. And just at the start, before you even play the trailer, you've got three main cars on the introduction of that trailer. As you will see I'll be looking down at my phone in front of me so if I look down you can understand why. So the three cars that we have on my phone just here we have the Ferrari SF90 Stradale, we have if I can bring the camera over we have a Pagali Zonda there and we have the brand new Porsche Cayman GTS over in the background. And the Ferrari SF90 Stradale is Ferrari's brand new, well, was Ferrari's brand new hybrid supercar where you had a, around 1,036 horsepower and it was, you had two electric motors topped up with a Ferrari V6 engine, which is extremely, extremely fast. Uh, the second car in that picture is the brand new Pagani um, track road car and I don't really know much about it only the fact that it was the replacement for the Horaira and it's a, said to have around 650-700 brake horsepower meant to have a tons of grip it looks as though it's con it's a ro it's a convertible so it would be a roadster the top speed will be a little bit lower as it's a convertible and so the price will also be higher for that extreme as well. And then the third car in that picture looks to be the brand new either Porsche 911 GT3 or the Cayman GTS. And as we've seen from previous Porsche 911s and the 718 Caymans is that they tend to be um, track based high performance sports cars, um, specifically um, for the Richard Hammonds of our world. But yeah, diving into the trailer then. I'll take the sound off so it is not thingy. And the next bit in the trailer that we come to is this beauty here. Is they that is the Rimac Concept 2. A car a car you guys would be familiar with if you play Forza Horizon 4 and Horizon 5. And the Rimac Concept 2, for those of you who don't who may not know what the Rimac um what that car is, um the Rimac Concept 1, if you look way, way back at the Grand Tour in season two, episode one of the Grand Tour, when they did past, present and future, they had the Lamborghini Aventador S, which Clarkson drove, you had the Honda NSX. Um, hybrid which James May drove and then you had the Concept 1 Rimac which Hammond drove and obviously for those of you who've watched the Grand Tour you'll know what happened to Hammond's car as he didn't know how to stop after crossing the finish line and that car had around 1,200 and something horsepower this car the Rimac Concept 2 has 1,887 horsepower all electric all-wheel drive hybrid monster not hybrid electric monster and it looks to be and is as i've tested on forza horizon 5 one of the fastest electric cars there is out there in the world right now you we continue in the trailer and we see some of chris harris drifting about in his ferrari sf90 and then we have this little off-road type demolition derby type car. No, I, I actually have no idea what that car is, but 
It looks to be one of those cars that you'd find a banger racing event, pardon me, and or stuff like that. So I imagine then in one of the future episodes of this Top Gear season, they will probably do some challenges where they've got to buy a used banger racer or they go and do that event as one of the challenges towards their main towards their main cars. Continuing through the rest of the um, the rest of the uh, the ad, the trailer, and you have Paddy McGuinness in what looks to be a NASCAR, and later on in the trailer you will see that um, it looks as though they go to Japan and they do some drifting challenges over there to try and get them familiarised and suited with the Japanese culture over there with Japanese cars and drifting. And then you have Paddy McGuinness and Freddie Flintoff, it looks like, dry, drifting this clapped out BMW. As you can see, a little bit of the teaser of the trailer there. And if we go back, we can see a glimpse of the new Mercedes AMG Project One. And obviously, as you know from Forza Horizon 5, and once again, for those of you who don't know, the Mercedes AMG Project One is basically a supercar that, that Mercedes' Formula One team designed and, a, and Mercedes, the car factory, built. It's basically got a Formula One engine inside of a road car. That's basically how it was designed and built. And it was also designed by Lewis Hamilton, so presumably it would have had pierced door mirrors and whenever it got to its destination, it would say hashtag bless. Anyway, continuing on, we have... Freddie Flintoff falling off what looks like mini go-karts, as you can see there. So presumably they will, in one of the episodes, which I'm really hoping that which will be hilarious, um, in one of the episodes they might, you know, build their own go-karts and do like horrendous off-road challenges with them, as you can see in this thing here. They're doing like little go-karts in like this off-road dirt path sounds pretty interesting going on towards the trailer you also have Paddy McGuinness getting out of his car and just you know trying to trying to just you know trying to act like nothing happened and then the ending of the trailer you've got the car the guys and their cars looking out into the crystal clear view. So those were all the cars that were in that trailer. And so I will assume that they, obviously for the drifting, they will go to Japan. Um, there's also news of them being in Germany as well for some car event. That was, that's probably the BMW drifting um, um, still in that trailer. Um, but yeah, it looks to be a very, really entertaining next series obviously as a beloved top gear fan i really 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 love clarks and hammonds and may's top gear and i generally think that nothing nothing can ever compare to that top gear the grand tour is also really good as well as it's run by those three but this may cause controversy and maybe an unpopular opinion but i do believe that um the Paddy McGuinness, Chris Harris and Freddie Flintoff Top Gear is not the same level as the Jeremy Clarkson era of Top Gear. Like that's up here. But I do believe that it's a really, really, really close second. Like I've never laughed as hard before, but with that, with those other three, Paddy, Chris and Freddie, they are really, really, really funny people. And... I'm really, really looking forward to the upcoming series. But yeah, to end the video off, my views and expectations of this series. Um, my favourite, favourite episode of the current Top Gear was probably the one where they spent 24 hours in their family cars, where 
Paddy McGuinness had a Tesla. Um, I think Chris Harris had a Volvo and Freddie Flintoff had a BMW, I believe. And obviously they had to eat herring and tr stay in their cars. But obviously we know how bad herring tastes. So that was really, really funny. And I laughed, basically cried with laughter because of how funny that was. So that is the expectation I have for this upcoming series. Um, and yeah. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. P please leave a like. Comment down below what you think your favourite car will be in this series. Please subscribe if you haven't already. 81% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed, so I really, really appreciate it if you hit that big subscribe button, click the bell so you don't miss another video, and I will see you all in the next one.